How you doing guys? Today I'm going to show you guys how to turn your kerosene heater into a cooker. Um, I'll show you what you need. It's pretty simple. Right now I'm working on a Dynaglow RMC 95C. They're a very popular uh, kerosene heater. They're the big ones. Everybody sells them Walmarts and uh, whatever else. So uh, first things first, I went to Lowe's and I went and bought three feet of threaded rod. This was a three foot rod and uh, this kerosene heater is pretty simple. All I did was take a 516 drill bit and went through the top of it, spaced it. I mean, you can almost bend it in there. So what I did is I put it in there, put a nut on each side. I put a nut on the back side, put a nut on the inside, and then I put a nut on the back side, and then I cut it off with a hex so, and then just kept repeating it. So basically what you're going to need, you're going to need one five sixteenths three foot fr threaded rod I got it from Lowe's it was only four bucks and you're gonna need 12 nuts and uh, I'm gonna show you also when you do it you don't want to just put two nuts on the outside this thing is flimsy this bends see how it bends you're gonna want to put a nut on the inside and a nut on the outside and make it nice and snug on both sides for stability so that way you know it, it can't bend or nothing like that I'm going to show you and now I can put a frying pan right on the top of it it lets it breathe out you don't want to use like an oversized frying pan like that and cover the whole thing because you're not going to give it any room and you're going to overheat this barrel so um and on top of it when i'm done i'm going to also use some jb weld and just touch it on the inside and the outside that way i don't ever have to worry about this accidentally sliding and coming out and then whatever you got on the top of this in it <laughs> And then after I'm done with that, I'm just going to use my cap here with a brush. And then I'm just going to paint it black. You'll never know. I mean, right now the guard's off it. And, and even on top of that, nobody will even know that really it's a cooker. Because the lid actually goes right back on the top of it if you want it. So once I paint this, you won't even know that you can cook underneath it. The only one that's going to know is you. So uh, I figured I'd show you guys how to turn your kerosene heater into a cooker. Hope you enjoyed.